Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? Oh, I thought you would never ask. Today is Monday, August the 2nd. It's a whole new month. It's a whole new week. It's a whole new, well, not year, but uh, it is National Coloring Book Day. Mm, oh, I like should, to color. We should do some of that today. And National Ice Cream Sandwich Day today. Do you have a favorite ice cream sandwich? Just the plain old yeah, they're good. vanilla chocolate. Yeah, that's a good one. That is darn good. Um, also, that's all we have for today. But I do want to say I'm super excited to have Mei Ling Ng joining us today. Uh, Mei Ling is a very awesome actress. She's been in a ton of big, huge movies like Wonder Woman. Yeah, that one. Uh, she's got a new one coming out this Friday. It's called Suicide Squad. Uh, she's in a bunch of other stuff too. Scorpion King. I mean, you go through the list, a lot of big blockbuster things and she is buff. Like the, the, there's a a lot of scenes with her fighting and there's a lot of scenes with her like shooting a bow and arrow. So I can't wait to ask her if she's really good at that stuff or if it's all just movie stuff, but Mei Ling Ng, our guest coming up on this movie star Monday. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most, and addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. According to the data from the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, that's also known as the ASPCA, that's what that stands for, one in five households acquired a pet during the COVID pandemic. Sadly, though, many shelters are now getting stuffed with pets being yeah, returned. I've read that. That's really sad. Yeah, so they're like, hey, I'm, I'm lonely. I want a pet. Yeah. And they're like, okay, not lonely anymore. I'm going to get rid of you. Boy, come Yeah, on. that's awful. If that's you, please check your heart. Make sure it's still there because that's not a nice thing. And I understand you're busy, you got stuff to do, but boy, that dog or cat, that pet that got you through the pandemic, they're not going to be around for the next 90 years. They're going to be around for a few years, and you could be there for them for a few more years. Uh, researchers from the University of California, San Diego, uh, say that couples who disagree on financial savings and investments are twice as likely to get divorced. Study author says, arguing about money is a typically cited reason for divorce. A main potential driver for these fights is differences in risk attitudes. If you and your partner don't see eye to eye on how much risk is acceptable, you will not have financial freedom. So there you go. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you too. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card, no matter what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. This is your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by Time4Rehab.com. 28-year-old Sterling Heights man arrested after he allegedly admitted to police that he was drunk after he fell asleep at the drive-thru at a Taco Bell. Oh, jeez. Troy police called the Taco Bell, or call, were called to the Taco Bell, rather, at 2.33 in the a.m. July the 16th. There was a truck parked in the drive-thru lane. When they arrived, they found a man sleeping in the truck, unable to wake him up right away. Took several loud knocks and yelling to get him to wake up. He smelled of booze in the vehicle, although he initially denied drinking. Later he said, okay, yeah, yeah, man, I'm drunk. That's what he said. I'm drunk. I think it is safe to say that just about everybody at that particular establishment at 2.30 in the morning is most likely in that condition. Maybe not quite there. Uh, Anyway, he was at 17 percent blood alcohol content 14 is the legal limit so not good not a bad place he was arrested and that is what happens when your brain is on drugs John and Heidi. now big screen little screen brought to you by channel surfer tv.com universal studios set to drop 400 million dollars for the rights to the famed horror flick the exorcist they want to produce a new trilogy the original 1973 film star ellen burst burston uh, going to reprise her role as Chris McNeil in the new movie. 
So I'm not exactly sure what they're doing and how that's going to happen, but interesting. Matt Damon told Extra that he is, quote, so happy, end quote, for Ben Affleck and Jen Jennifer Lopez. So That's so super. Matt Damon's happy. That's a story. And in a new interview, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunitz revealed they do not believe in bathing their kids or washing themselves too much. I read this. And the thing is, I understand what they're saying, but people are taking it out of context, I think. Because they're, I think what they're saying is basically, well, we take a bath, we need a bath, but you know, I we don't do it four times a day like some people. So no, no, I read that, it. That's not what they were saying. I'm off. It's a li- you're a little off. All they right. were saying that they don't bathe hardly ever, and what they do is just kind of wipe their privates and their armpits with soap and call it a day. <laughs> and they, hmm. Yeah. It's, it's really kind of nasty. Well, then, I'll just move on. Big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. At WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile weirdgiftoftheday.com that's weirdgiftoftheday.com now your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of purecanacompany.com promo code radio miners logging on to instagram for the first time will now automatically default to a private account as the company aims to create a more safe and private platform i wonder why just miners I know, you'd think they can handle stuff with their line of work. I know, being down in the mines and all. <laughs> <laughs> We're both on the same dumb page, aren't we? <laughs> this seems a little unfair. <laughs> been in the mine all day. <laughs> and I can't even up, get online. Get out of my Instagram page and look what you've done to me. Uh, that's not what they're talking about, by the way. They mean underage people. Just, <laughs> I'm sure you all knew that. Um, in Australia, two giant Galapagos tortoises had a first date over FaceTime. Okay. So I don't know what that's all about. Wow. Do you suppose they came out of their shell? <laughs> wow. <laughs> and an 83-year-old woman is awarded a fifth-degree black belt in karate. How by, cool is that? By Chuck Norris. How cool yeah. is that? That is very cool. So a fifth-degree black belt in uh, in karate, and she's 83, and Chuck Norris is the one who awarded her the belt. And he's getting up there in years as well, which is pretty darn cool. I've always liked Chuck Norris, by the way. I was you a fan? Say they probably went to high school together. No, I don't think he's quite 83. But are you a fan of Chuck Norris? Oh, everybody's a fan of Chuck so Norris. A photo of an embarrassed raccoon rescued by firefighters. This photo's gone viral because it looks like the raccoon's covering his face in Aww. shame. He's got his little paw covering things up. And I think that it's probably not really because he's ashamed, but whatever he's doing, it does look really funny. I've got a link to that. And finally, a video from a New Jersey carnival shows a teenager on a slingshot ride. You know the things that shoot you up in the air? Yeah. They shot him up in the air just in time for him to get smacked face first into a seagull. Oh, ouch. Can you imagine that? Ouch. Not fun. I've got a link to that video, though. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Early to bed, early to rise makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At insurancechicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that, but I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. That's insurancechicken.com. It's another Movie Star Monday, and our guest today is Mailing Ng, and she's been in The Scorpion King. She's been in Wonder Woman. Coming out this week, she'll be in a little film called The Suicide Squad. I'm also looking on the list, the Power Rangers movie, uh, Legend of the White Dragon, going to be in that. And Mailing, I've noticed a common theme in a lot of these. You're kind of a, a fighting, you know, fisticuffs, uh, shooting bow and arrows kind of person. Are you like that in real life, a, a fighter, or not so much? In the movie, they love to put a bow and arrow in my hand, but I am black belt in Shaolin Kung Fu, which is nine weapons, so like, I do the double broad sword, the sword, the bow staff, the whip chain, the nunchucks, or the guan dao. I do a lot of weapons, but uh, yeah, bow and arrow just suits my physique, I think. They just, <laughs> I've done a lot of films there. Wonder Woman and Scorpion King run around for the bow and arrow. 
It just seems to like it. And you look pretty darn comfortable with that in your hand. So I wondered if you were like a, an, uh, really into archery or if that's just a movie thing. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the, you know what, I think it's, the, it's the, the, the delt, the shoulders. They just really like to see me kind of like pull on something and like with the, with the bow and arrow. Now let's talk about The Suicide Squad. It's coming out this Friday in theaters and HBO Max. It looks pretty exciting. It's a really good film. It's an um, IMAX. Uh, is what I would recommend that you go and view it on because it's just, I mean, it's such a big film. I watched it on a secret screen in that Warner Brothers and it was a normal screen. And even that wasn't like, I was I was disappointed I didn't see it on IMAX for the first time because it's just, it's over the top. It's a, it's a masterpiece of mayhem that I've been seeing all weekend and it seems to be catching on. It truly is. James Gunn has done his best work. It's amazing. Well, I got to tell you, I love your accent, and I see that you were raised in England with Chinese and Singapore and British heritage. I don't think there's anybody else that quite has your look in Hollywood, is there? I don't, I, um, I don't think so. I, I'm not really... I mean, there's a few girls that could play the warrior, but I don't know if anyone's... I mean, everyone says that I look like I can bench press Arnie. I don't know if that's if that's the case. I mean, like I'm totally natural athlete, you know. I I just um, I lift really heavy. I eat a lot of protein, but this uh, it's not. I'm not huge. I'm just a size US six, but I I look strong. But like my waist is like 26, 27, and you know it's just I'm not that big. But for Hollywood. I'm absolutely terrifying, apparently. <laughs> and, and a lot of that is a lot of the actors and actresses are very tiny people, so then that makes you look bigger, right? Yeah, absolutely. I remember back in the day, uh, everybody was always amazed when they would find out Sylvester Stallone. He was Rambo, he was Rocky, and he's not a really tall person. When they would meet him in person, they're like, oh, wow, that that's not what I was expecting. Yeah, and no, I've met him a few times, and yeah, he looks huge on screen, but... Yeah, I think I was like the same size. So how did you get on this path? Have you always wanted to be in movies? Well, I am. A, a, it was definitely something I always wanted to do and a deep desire in my heart. But I was, I mean, I didn't wear a skirt and heels. I didn't wear a dress or heels until I was 28. So I never had the confidence to really put myself out there. But, to, but acting and being creative was a big desire of mine. But I was just, I kind of cared about too much about failing and what people thought. And then as you get older, you just realize that people are too busy to even look. Like, they're, too, they're not even looking at you. They don't care. They've got so much, they've got their own problems going on that no one's even looking. Just go for your dream because one day I realized that you can fail at something you don't want to do. I ended up opening all these protein restaurants. And I don't like the restaurant business, but that's, I grew up in Tenerife, Canary Islands, uh, a little island by Africa, the Spanish island. And all my brothers and family are still over there. And we have like a big portfolio of restaurants. And I did that. And then I was so unhappy. And then the crisis came to Spain and everyone lost money. And I was like, okay, the money's not good enough for me to stick around. It, the economy's good in Asia. So I realized I kind of, you can fail at something you don't want to do. And I ended up going to Asia where the economy was good. And and then I, I, one day I was just like, if, if you can fail at something you don't want to do, why not go for things that you want to do? Yeah. You've got nothing to lose anyway. So I just ended up, you know, I got, went for my dream. I wish I did it 20 years ago, but I went for my dream six years ago when I arrived in the USA and wow. got a visa as an actor. And then I, I, I don't know. I just seem to be pick, getting like picked for like all of these strong action roles and warrior roles from Amazon. Well, you're doing an awesome job. And what great advice. If you're going to fail at something, at least fail at something you love doing. I love that. And we'll be watching for you in the Suicide Squad this Friday. Thanks again for taking the time to chat, Mayling. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Again, the Suicide Squad premieres this Friday, August 6th, in theaters and on HBO Max. All the details in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Addiction. It's not a pretty thing. Addiction can lead to many problems in your life. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most, and addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. They want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Most people break up on Mondays. Searching through public Facebook data, Lee Byron and David McCandless found that relationship statuses change for the worse two weeks before Christmas, right around Easter, and on Mondays. Though the data may be somewhat misleading, as people might not be 
live updating their breakups, but it does show an obvious trend. Here's what I think is happening. The Monday update is because somebody got broken up with on either Friday or Saturday or Sunday. They finally got back to work on Monday, and they're like, oh, hey, I should probably use company time to change that. (laughs) Don't do that, by the way. But that is today's fun fact. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Do you have a credit card? We'd like to help you get a better credit card. If you don't have any credit cards, we'd like to help you too. At BetterCreditCards.com, we have credit cards that offer different things for different people. Some cards offer points. Some cards are designed to help you build your credit. BetterCreditCards.com wants to help you get a better credit card, no matter what you're looking for. See if we can help you find a better credit card at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, RadioTravelGroup.com presents a news headline from somewhere in this world. Dateline, Russia. Russian President Vladimir Putin has directed the construction of two so-called doomsday planes that would function as command and control centers in the event of a devastating nuclear conflict. That's kind of concerning. It's extremely concerning. What does he know that we don't know? Where's my doomsday plane? I don't have one. Am I going to do this radio show if I don't have a doomsday plane? Can we turn that into the radio station and see if we can get that in the budget? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, is that a tax write-off, do you think? <laughs> Probably not. That is a news headline from somewhere in this world. At weirdgiftoftheday.com, we help you get ready for all the fun holidays throughout the year with fun, silly, and just plain weird gift ideas for your friends. If you have a friend who has a bizarre sense of humor, we've got a gift for them. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com posts a link to something that will make you smile each and every day. Whether you buy these weird gifts or not, it's worth checking out just for a smile. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. That's WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. For many women, coming home to find a man in the kitchen cooking dinner would be sweet. But if that man is wearing your clothing and, and he's, you, you don't, don't know, know him, him <laughs> not so romantic. Oh. Toronto police are asking for the public's assistance with a breaking and entering investigation. Somebody entered a 33-year-old woman's apartment without her authorization, did some stuff that's kind of weird for a burglar. They say they got called to the home. They found that uh, he had returned to the home, or she returned to the home and found a male inside her apartment. A terrifying occurrence on its own, but they say the man had cooked her a meal and stole personal items. Maybe he cooked himself a meal. I don't know. He fled when the woman called police. So he stuck around until she called the police, though. Maybe he was like a stalker. Maybe he knew her, but she didn't know him. Uh, He was placed under arrest, 35-year-old Robert Anthony Stumpo, charged with one count of uh, breaking and entering, appeared in court where police said they called uh, for help from members of the public. They're seeking the assistance of them to find out if there are other victims. Has he done this to you as well? So they think he probably has. I would think think more people would have notified the police. But not everybody does. He left. Maybe that's all they wanted. Weird News, brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. Time now for your moment of duh, brought to you by BetterResultsAdvertising.com. A Connecticut landlord allegedly snuck into his apartment, uh, tenant uh, apartment, and sniffed her underwear. Ew. It was all caught on camera. Yeah, Jorge Orlana Arias of East Haven, charged with third-degree burglary after the woman told police she had video of him coming into her un- unoccupied apartment several times, going through her stuff and her daughter's stuff. Ew. The woman suspected something was wrong back in May. Uh, She started barricading adjoining doors in an effort to thwart the alleged intruder. Then he used another door to get in the residence. A woman set up hidden cameras inside the apartment to prove that her intuition was right. Footage showed he was digging through her daughter's clothing. Also reported that she is in the residence. He was in the residence at one point while her daughter was home and was alone. Apparently startled by the girl's presence, he left the apartment immediately. The alleged le- lecherous landlord. What does that mean? Lecherous? Is that a town? Or- no, oh. it's it's like a, a, they're trying to be cutesy. This uh, loony landlord. Maybe that's what he said. He was arrested, taken into custody after investigators looked into the woman's claims and actually watched the video of him Jeez. being creepy. Very, very bizarre. That is today's Moment of Duh. Early to bed, early to rise makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise.
This is a great quote from Benjamin Franklin. At insurancechicken.com, we know a thing or two about great quotes. We help people get great insurance quotes every day. It's super simple and free to find out if we can make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay, I can't guarantee that, but I can assure you we'd love to help at insurancechicken.com. We want to help you pack out great deals on insurance. That's insurancechicken.com. And it's time now for Is It a Golf Course or Is It a Rehab Center? Brought to you by Time4Rehab.com. Heidi, tell me, Valley Hope, Overland Park, Kansas. Is it a golf course or is it a rehab center? Valley, Valley Hope. Hope. I'm going to say, oh gosh, it sounds like a rehab center. Uh, <laughs> but if it sounds too much like a rehab center, maybe it's a golf course. I'm going to say Rehab Center. Gut. Yeah, go with your gut. It is a Rehab Center. Yay. I was so proud of you for sticking to that. I thought for sure you were going to flip-flop on it and, <laughs> and go and be wrong. You've been right now multiple days in a row, which uh, you – you know what? We'll do one more break, and I'll give you the rest of the day off. How's that sound? <laughs> Okay. That sounds great. <laughs> That's how we play. Is it a golf course or is it a Rehab Center? Brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Denver police are pulling people over and they're not giving tickets. They're giving out gift cards. <sighs> listen to what's going on, though. Denver police teamed up with an auto parts place to serve the community and help motorists in the Mile High City. They're now handing out gift cards for automotive parts provider instead of writing tickets. Here's how it goes. They'll pull over a motorist that maybe had a headlight out or a taillight out. And if they look like maybe and they're they have struggling. The to give them a $25 gift card to help them get it fixed. So that's really cool. The store donated 100 $25 gift cards to the Denver police to launch this new vehicle safety program. They say, we are, we are very much looking forward to this, a police officer said. Uh, Advance Auto Parts is the company. Their donation not only helps us get greater compliance with the motoring public, but it also helps build and strengthen relationships within the community. That's a neat idea. You know, it's it's nice if you if they're giving them to people who are having maybe they could tell wouldn't be able to afford yeah. that particular service. If I'm they're just giving you. them out willy nilly, I'm, I'm not sure that super they're doing cool it the that, right way. Oh, I'm sure they're doing it the right way. Uh, but but it, I can tell you right now, I've seen photos online of, of vehicles that they would need way more than a $25 gift card. Yeah. Some of the stuff that's on the road, and there are people who literally snap photos and post it on Facebook. They're like, uh, look what I just saw at the gas station. Yeah. And uh, yeah, be be careful out there. If you're driving a vehicle that's not safe, figure out a way to, to maybe not do that. And uh, again, $25 gift card, probably not going to help people in a situation like that. But with somebody that does have a tail light out or a blinker out or a brake light out or something, if they can get that fixed and you know make their vehicle safe, everybody's a winner in that situation, right, Heidi? That's right. There you go. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday.